woman out here with two jobs and, you know, the man is the one getting home early from work and, you know, and then the same man still wants to go out and cheat and, you know, do all this with different women. It's like, bro, I'm paying more bills than you. And <laughs> you know what I mean? I the women back in the days, I felt like they, you know, the men, they came home and put I, their I, check I, how, on the how does that like, define as a man getting feminine? Because I, I, I keep hearing it. I just don't understand what they're saying because women are getting more masculine. They're looking at their man, their man as feminine. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? I don't believe men are becoming feminine. You get what I'm saying? I just don't see it. I, I, maybe you guys could explain it to me because I just feel like women trying to be men more and they're looking down on their partners. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Daily Wrap Up Crew. No book of, but I go by the name of Eli. As always, we got Ace with us. Yes, indeed, Ace the Goat. I'm on that path. Eli, the first one to end up in the casting ass. Mm -hmm. Ace the Goat, too far. Yo, first of all, that was you had to redeem yourself from last episode because that last episode <laughs> was dirt, man. Like, yo, that, last but not least, we got you. What to do? What to do? I'm here with my crew. Damn, I don't got nothing to say, but Eli ain't got on a shoe, so <laughs> we're going to keep real with y'all. Yeah, y'all just going to keep doing this for the next two to yeah, three months. Huh? Yeah, like, I'm just saying, saying bro. Uh, People going to have a timeline for when we got that castle. Listen, don't worry about it. I'm about that, to go home with this, right? <laughs> nothing but cast no, bars. No, nothing but cast bars. Like, yeah. Anyway, we got some special guests in the building. Ladies, let them know where they can follow you at. Hi, I'm Shatoya. You can follow me on Instagram at speak. That's S dot P dot E dot E dot K underscore. Mm -hmm. yeah. That should remind me of uh, a David Bannon and Def Jam Vendetta. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, so let them know where they can follow you. Uh, my name is Shanae, and on all socials, you can just search up Maze Wardrobe. My name is Sasha. My Instagram is Call Me Elise, C A L L. We gonna, we, 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 gonna put, right. we gonna have it right there. Oh, okay. yeah. Sound like you forgot to spell it though. I ain't gonna hold you. I don't know. You look like she was in the spelling bee and you know the answer. Like, <laughs> I forgot what it was. Keep <laughs> using the sentence. Yeah. <laughs> and last but not least, we got Usher in the. I mean, my fault. <laughs> <laughs> right. What's happening? I'm um, smooth. Mm. I do uh, a little bit on Instagram, a little bit on TikTok, YouTube. You can find me at. T R E V underscore smooth, Trev Smooth. And um, I talk about relationship dynamics and how it relates to mental health. Mm -hmm. Yo, make sure I go check him out, man. He got some good content over there, um, entertaining content as well, man. So make sure I go give him a follow and subscribe to his page as well. With the mm -hmm. stat facts. Yeah, you definitely got the stats over there. Mm -hmm. um, before we get into this first topic, again, make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe if y'all not already subscribed, and join our YouTube membership, man. We got a lot of exclusive access, early access. Exclusive footage behind the scenes. I mean, whatever you could think of, we got it. Like pretty mm -hmm. much, like, you know what I'm saying. So make sure y'all um do us that favor to support us. And um yeah, so we gonna get right into this first topic. Um, why do you think women are having a hard time finding a man? What, what do y'all? What's your <laughs> thoughts on that? Anybody want to go first? <laughs> I can go. Um, now, especially in New York, women are making more than men. So um, is that statistically it, true? Yes, actually, I can't. I could pull it up, but I can't remember the stats. You might need the stats on that one, but go ahead, go ahead. No problem. Women are making more than men now, and women are looking for hypergamy. So, and women have um, women are education wise, they're graduating colleges. The stats show that I don't know the exact stats. Mm. So, um. They're looking for men that makes more than them, um, more educated than them, taller than them. They're looking for like that top percentage of men, and it's a really small percentage. They don't want to compete for that man either. So, mm. yeah. I feel like <clears throat> women are not finding a the man they want, and I feel like it's mostly because um, like nobody's willing to wait. So everything is here, everything is now. 
And, you know, we have in mind, you know, I, I want the, the house or the picket fence, or I want this kind of man. And then, you know, Peter from up the block comes along and he's nice, he got swag, he look good or whatever. So, you know what I mean? You're going to be distracted by whatever's going on. You know, you don't want to be lonely or, you know, having a relationship seems like the the end thing. So, you know, I feel like everybody just goes along with, you know, whatever's going on, not kind of settling, but compromising mm -hmm. what it is that they really want in order for the right now. Okay. I would say, <clears throat> uh, I feel like based off where we are in society, a lot of women are more so masculine. A lot of men are becoming more feminine because of that. Um, and that's really the main reason. Okay. I also want to add to that. That's true. Um, oh. it's, I won't call it settling either. I will call it like compromising. And um, women just want the men to come with it. They don't want to build with men nowadays because of opportunities that women have now. They have even like with corporate positions, like they will hire a black educated woman over a black educated man. So I just feel like women just want more now because they're being offered more. But you also sense. said they're not willing to compete. So even if they say they want that upper echelon dude, right? Mm -hmm. But you're not willing to compete for him. What do you, what do you, you just stand around waiting? What's the competition, though? Like, I mean, obviously, we're going to have to compete if you want a, a better person, right? He's going to have other options, just like good women are going to have multiple options as well, right? So at some point, somebody's going to compete. So if you like, oh, hey, I'm, I look good, and there's like 50 other women that look good that's still talking to him, and you just want him to pick you, you got to compete somehow, right? For him to acknowledge you over the other 50 women that's there. I don't know that I believe I was, that. Oh. Go ahead. It is a competition, but when you say competition, women take it as, oh, I'm not competing. But when in reality it is, like, if you want that top percent man, no, you are competing because they have this thing like, oh, I'm the prize and I also can bring this to the table. So then it's just like, that's really how they end up single with that attitude that they have, in my opinion. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily say it's a competition. I think... Like, if I know a guy has options, I'm not going to say, oh, it's me versus her and her and her. It's just me. And right. I'm showing up to right. however, wh whatever I bring. Mm -hmm. And that's how, but to him, it's a, it's a competition because he's the one that's choosing, but I'm right. not looking at you. Yeah. I'm going to worry about me right. and how I'm coming. Yeah, I mean, that's, regardless how you look at it, you're still competing at some form. And mm -hmm. to the point about what you said, women are being, women are high pergamists mm -hmm. by nature. That's understandable. So again, when 90, like 80% of the women went to 20% of men, and then, Y'all keep disqualifying men. So now y'all want him to be a high earner. Not only do we got to be a high earner, he has to also be a, a certain height. Not only does he have to be a certain height, he has to be good and bad. Not only has he be... You get what I'm saying? So y'all keep y'all keep shortening the list as much as, as low as possible. And then when it comes down to like, okay, well, realistically, you guys are looking at 2% of all men of all ethnic groups. Now it's like, how am I going to go get that man? If that's the man that you truly want, how are you going to set yourself aside from the other women that also want that? Because... On this show, every episode, we got women talking about the same things in the men. He got to make, he got to be a high earner. He got to be six feet. Got to do. Every woman mm -hmm. universally wants these same type of men. So therefore, you have to separate, differentiate yourself from that competition. Whether you want to look at it as as her, her, and her. At some point, you have to realize, hey, this is the quality of man I want for my life, and mm -hmm. I have to prove or separate myself from the other women or show what I could offer best, so that way he could choose me. And but am I allowed to ask you questions because? I, I want to know, like, how do you, at, like, you're not a woman, obviously, but how are we supposed to say, okay, he has all these options, so I'm going to make myself the better choice. I'm just a piggyback, you know, off of what she said. It's like, what more can I do except for be the best version of myself that I can be? I feel like it's his choice. At the end of the day, he has a bunch of options. That's like deciding what you want to wear today, you know, so you're going to decide based on what event you're going to or what the weather is or, you know, whatever like that. And so, you know, that's how you make your decision. I'm assuming that's how a man makes his decision, whatever his priorities are, whatever his likes and dislikes are, you know, and whatever woman brings that to the table, um, 
for the most part, I feel like that's who he's gonna choose. I don't I don't know how I would, you know, get up in the morning and say, I'm I'm gonna be um the best person so that he could choose me. Well you you have to ask not not to cut you off, Kim, but mm-hmm. the thing is women have to understand what men want, especially these high these high earning men, these high value men, quote unquote. Mm-hmm. You gotta understand what what is it what is it that he wants in a significant other. You get what I'm saying? Once you re- figure that out, then you can start to I right, well these are, you know, I could help in these areas or I have this to offer. You get what I'm saying? Like I find it interesting that women will compete. I say this all the time. Women will compete in every asset of her life, whether it's her her career, School. whether it's her education. She knows exactly how to compete for those. But when it comes to a man now, all of a sudden, we confused or why should I have to compete <laughs> for that? Like, y'all compete for your mm-hmm. job. That new that new, that new um, position that you got at work that you did an interview for, you made sure you was the best candidate for that position, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Put extra shit on your resume. <clears throat> I get what you were saying too as well. Um, I just feel like as long as you're staying true to yourself um, while you're doing it, that's all that matters. And also, sometimes we may think that we're giving our best, but in his eyes, we're not. So like you were saying, just like you can kind of ask him, like, well, what what is it that you want? Like, I guess people, women don't tend to ask a man what it is that he wants. Mm-hmm. So you be open to asking, like, you know, what it is that you want. If you can give it, then you try your best giving it. But just stay true to yourself while doing it. You know, don't step out of character <clears throat> doing it. Yeah, Yeah, I I was going to say that to me that goes on like an individual basis Mm -hmm. unless we want to say that all men are the same. So, you know, it it would have to be this individual man and, you know, like like she said, what does he like? You know, what is he into? Because, you know, every man that's six feet in a, you know, six figure tax bracket, I don't think they all have the exact same wants and needs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's, so but that's your job to figure that out. Right. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. What what's your thoughts on this? All right. Um now when you think about what women ask for, right? Like like you were saying just now, if you want somebody who's six feet or better, what are you talking about? About fifteen percent of men? Right. And then let's say you put that stat together with somebody who makes six figures, right? You already, look what you did with the percentage. You just cut that in half before you take into consideration his marital status, whether he has a personality, whether he's ugly, whether he's well endowed. You know what I'm saying? Like there's so many, there's so many factors that, so you're looking at what, like 1% of men. Now, social media has given access to these men. So females have access to them. They'll be in the DMs and they're going to not stop at, a 10 just because they might be considered a 10 by women. They're going to go all the way down to a three or four or whatever. And once women get with that guy, they now feel like this is their type. And they don't understand why he's not taking her into consideration for a long-term relationship. He's just doing a flyby. And that's about it. And another reason that we have is um, females bring what they perceive as value to men, but it's not necessarily that. So they think that their education sometimes is valuable to a man. A man that's up there like that, he doesn't care because he doesn't need your money. He doesn't have access to your money. He generally doesn't have use for your money. So your education and the money that you bring is valuable for you personally. That's great, but it doesn't bring the same type of value to a relationship. Yeah, that's true. I, I think oftentimes, sometimes women lead too much with that mm-hmm. instead of showing other qualities that they could offer a man. Like, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, they would rather show that they strong, independent, don't need no man instead of, hey, well, this is the type of woman I am. This is what I could offer in a long term successful relationship. Mm-hmm. These are the qualities I could offer. Sometimes it's just too much leading with, you know, how we make money. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I, agree. Then I also think, like, it's like, okay, I they have like, ill intent behind it, but I don't want to say ill intent, probably have some weird like intent behind it though. Cause they lead with saying, oh yeah, I have money. I can bring this to the table, but it's never, I can contribute to the table. Mm-hmm. You get it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. And yeah. and that's, and that goes back to this point while men yeah. generally don't care about you know, mm-hmm. a woman's yeah. earning potential. Like there's other factors that is more significant to us that we actually care about. Cause like I said, that money is it's not all money. We don't got access to it. And if we do ask for access to it, then it comes, oh, he's some bum ass. You know what I mean? He, he rogue. Like, why he asking for my money? Like, we always hear a woman. Yo, why? A woman will that. always say, like, uh, a man's money is my money and my money is my money. Like, that sounds crazy. Like, to anybody else, that, that would sound crazy. Like, you get what I'm saying? So, I think, you know, 
I think that's maybe why some women aren't finding the man that they um that they want is because number one, you guys are looking at the few percentage of men that qualify for y'all basically, and then y'all not willing to compete for that said man because these there's uh, there's women there's women out here that competing for men like you know what I'm saying like if there's a LeBron James that's walking through you best believe she put on her e- best effort you know she coming with the right amount of feminine. she knows how to you know what qualities will you know attract that man like you know mm-hmm. what I mean so. And her right, she is competing for him. Like you get him, she's the first one showing up at the club. She's making sure she's getting his attention. She her cleavage, <laughs> cleavage is out. Like you know what I'm saying, ass is poking out. She she doing what she got to do to be seen. Like you get what I'm saying. So that in, inherently is a form of competing. Like you get what I'm saying. So um, anything else you want to add, Akeem? No, I think we pretty much. I, I do want to say one more thing. I think a lot of women chase the man that they're not even qualified for. Mm-hmm. So they mm-hmm. see a, a a man with great potential. They chasing him, and he not even looking at you because you not what he want, and you not trying to give him what he want. You just want to chase him because he's what everybody else wants. Mm-hmm. So he might not be on your level, and a lot of women waste their time on a dude that's not worth their time. So they they spend 10 years trying to build somebody up that they should have just mm-hmm. left the fuck alone in the first place. So, you know what I mean? It's a lot of wasted time, and you need to find out. I, I don't want to say levels, but if you know you can present this much to a man and you trying to get like how we always say people like to go to the extreme and go for LeBron James but you, you mediocre I don't I hate or average he's not looking for that per se maybe but you know the the, the nice guy right next to you you just walking right past him because you busy chasing LeBron James mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I just want to say um like the the whole uh cliche idea about the six figure six feet thing um, that could be part of the reason why a lot of us are single or not finding the right man. I feel like, you know, kind of agreeing with you guys to a certain extent. Um, how somebody treats you is is good. You know, if you're equally yoked, like you you can't be in a relationship with someone just because they make a certain amount of money or mm-hmm. just because they are a certain height. They could be batshit crazy, or you know, right, you, right. you know, you guys may not make a good connection. And some people choose to, like you said, stay in unhealthy situations because of a stack. Mm-hmm. Definitely. And I just want to add one last thing. Also, I also um, going off of what you were saying. Some women feel like they do not, um, they don't want to settle, and that's just that. Like, and they don't realize like men will settle. In one um, area, if the woman has every other thing, if she brings every other thing to the table, like right. men will step down in beauty, if she brings every other thing he needs at the table, and women they don't want to step down in nothing at right. all. So that's why they have. I don't look at that as settling. I feel like I found my partner. Well, not settling, saying? like yeah. compromising, yeah. like yeah. you know, yeah. they don't yeah. want to have Definitely. any type of compromise. Yeah, yeah. yeah. women are. I mean, men are way you know to compromise way more as far as you know when it comes to relationships mm. than women. The women just be stuck on that list. <laughs> He's <laughs> right though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you you check nine out of ten, but you know, it's not ten out of ten. Like you know, what I mean, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna keep doing my Sierra's prayer and keep waiting for that dude to come around. He ain't gonna come around. Like, I'm but yo, that. how they how they um they say they don't they don't they want a loyal man, but if that man making that much money with that height, he could cheat all he want. They still sticking with that shit. You mm-hmm. know what? Get to next up. I ain't gonna talk about that. That's a whole different subject. Yeah, don't ever open up. So y'all don't y'all don't think that people should have a basis of what they want out of a person. You gotta think like just chuck it up completely. Don't, those standards mm-hmm. shouldn't change because he's more successful. Well, I never said that. I'm saying the, in general. Well, like, saying that you I get what he's saying. It should be you should be be willing to compromise. Not me and somebody I'll checking off most of your boxes. Over the list if he has everything else. So, so I will make a compromise. So yeah. so if that man is rich, he could can he cheat? But if he's poor. He can't, I, I'm just saying that's mm. kind of sounds like what you were. No, I, 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 I shouldn't have said that. I'm gonna just keep. I'm gonna keep. Yeah. It, well, no, I'm not saying that. Well, y'all saying that. I'm trying to say in general, every, everyone has what they want out of a person. We all have different things, mm-hmm. and I feel like it really comes down to what you value the most out of the things that you have on your list. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. like, if a if a man, for example, has a lot of boxes, but one is like he really values getting good head from somebody. Mm-hmm. If she doesn't do that, and that's the most valuable thing, he's always gonna be looking for more because she didn't fulfill that one thing that's the most valuable. So you don't think that y'all should in general have (laughs) qualities? I I, I can't feel it. I agree with that point. Wait, y'all can't can't agree that that. we should have have something, (laughs) we have some type of list. If if good head is your your, like your your deal, that was example, but yeah, yeah. yeah. But she got fire pussy. He gonna be like, 
I could, I could, I could just, you know what I mean, take a little head and, and fuck, you know what I mean, I'd be all right. That's what I'm saying. He'd be willing to compromise, compromise. more. Okay. Yeah. yeah. If she has the other qualities that w- makes him happy or that he values, most Man. men will, you know, overlook that. You get what I'm sure. saying? Like, she cooking, you know. clean. If she willing to learn with bad yeah. head, yeah. then right. we going to get yeah. we gonna go to That's what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You, you going to learn, learn my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's what I was about to say. Just, you know, she could learn how to do. She could watch videos. You know? All right. <laughs> well, recently we had a video where um was talking about a woman. She was like, um, if you got a good man, but he not funny. And she was like, oh, <laughs> you got a good man, pay him, man, take care of you, funny. treat you good, but he not Eddie okay. Murphy, so so you can't be with him. So nah. I was like, yo. That's not, that's not good that's, enough. That's, you know that's like, not, I don't think that's that serious. It's not that serious. Well, all right. But like I mean, you she said, man, that's your deal breaker. Right. Right. Everyone has their different things. We can't judge right. you. Know? That's right. No, she's like, you can't judge. You want to laugh your whole life? Like, I don't care about laughing. Well, that's her, though. That's her, though. Laughter is medicine, but you don't have to be a comedian. Laughing is medicine. Go watch some TV. <laughs> I just think that more people have to be men and women just have to be more realistic about yes. you know because that's the sure, key yeah. word right there like oh. if we look at the economy that we this ain't your grandparents like our grandparents was working factory jobs and still mm-hmm. being able to afford houses and another family two and families all, like you know yeah. what I'm saying <laughs> working fa- this is not these not educated degree we talking about factory jobs and they was able right. now because of inflation you are gonna need to you, most likely the average person is gonna need to. Incomes to support a family like not and your one, kids. yeah, not one person is realistically is not gonna be able to support family plus kids like that's just unrealistic that's like right. you get what I'm saying. So as long as you value certain things like family and happiness and all those other things, I think you're gonna be good. But if you just keep going off of girl, don't settle, don't settle, and that's what's being pushed into a lot of people's mm-hmm. head is just don't settle. Uh, the God will find you. You know, we always go and pray about it. God going, he gonna come to your front door. <laughs> yeah, that's what not, that's not how it works, man. Like, mm-hmm. Listen, let me get to this next topic. Um. Why do you think? What do you think is stopping relationships nowadays from being successful? Because we always hear about you know failed relationships and you know obviously divorces um, and things of that nature. I feel like people thinking they have more options. Back to the option, okay. Right. Yeah, people thinking they have more options, and I think social media plays a huge part in it part. because it opens up everybody's options. So instead of working on what's going on in home, everybody's like, you know what, like fuck it, I don't want to deal with it because I can go find better, and then they. Drop a picture, you slide in somebody's DM, and then they just feel like there goes all those options. Mm. That, that's what I feel like is going on right now. Well, I don't feel like it. I think. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Check you out. Mm-hmm. What about y'all? So I agree with her about the, you know, the illusion of um, a bunch of different options. I also feel like... um <clears throat> And and like modern times now, women are becoming more independent. I don't I don't know if that transition is because we want to be, or if that transition is because, like she mentioned earlier, you know, like the the role switching. Like a lot of women are like more masculine, and a lot of That's a men choice. are are more feminine now. And so, you know, you'll have a woman out here with two jobs and, you know, the man is the one getting home early from work and, you know, and then the same man still wants to go out and cheat and, you know, do all this with different women. It's like, bro, I'm paying more bills than you. And <laughs> you know what I mean? I- the women back in the days, I felt like they, you know, the men, they came home and put I, their I, check I, how, on do, the how does that like, define as a man getting feminine? Because I, I, I keep hearing it, I just don't understand what they're saying. Because women get ma- more masculine, they're looking at their man, their man as feminine. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? I don't believe men are becoming feminine. You get what I'm saying? I just don't see it. I, I, maybe you guys could explain it to me because I just feel like women trying to be men more, and they're looking down on their partners. Mm-hmm. Well, I can when when she said that, I can see because there's a um, there's a lot of single parent households, and a lot of boys are being raised by their moms, so they are. Becoming more feminine. I, I, but so how like, though? No, like, what's an example? Because we had women on here <laughs> calling men sassy and all this other thing. And then when we asked for example, oh, because I didn't text him all day and then he didn't text me all day. Like, well, can what? I say I mean, something? That's, <laughs> that's not <laughs> that's immature. But what, that's I can, immature. what I can say though is this gender war that's going on, and this is going to answer the question as well, have with the gender war that's going on between men and women. So I know they said women had a voice for all these years. So now men have a voice. 
And now that I feel like that men have a voice, mm. they're using it to tear women down versus everybody just finding a solution. <coughs> it's like women are tearing men down and then men are tearing women down. It's like we can't meet in the middle nowhere no more. You get me? And then it's like women are like, they want to be independent, this whole feminine BS, especially black women. And feminism wasn't even for like us. It was. Yeah. And y'all, me, the crazy part is y'all know like, this. Yeah. Black women know this. And y'all still are the front runners for feminism. Like, you know Some what I'm saying? Some of them like, don't know this. Some people act off it like it's just ignorance because they don't know. Mm-hmm. You get me? So unless they educate themselves on it, they're not going to know and they're going to continue to just have that. Sure, they got all them mindset. degrees. How they don't know? <laughs> Well, let me ask you a question, right? Because on, on our show, we owe, um, and I'm tired of having this conversation, honestly, about women justifying why they are masculine, right? I'm tired of hearing a woman justify, you know, her masculinity, right? So there's these excuses that women have. Well, I have to be masculine because the men wasn't in my life, X, Y, and Z. You just said something very important. You said that young boys are being raised by their mothers. So could a could a young could a young man ever have the excuse, hey, you know what? I'm in my feminine because I was raised. Would y'all ever tolerate that excuse from a man? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't tolerate the excuse, but it depends. It's, on I will see feminine. where the femininity is coming from. Mm-hmm. You get me? I wouldn't tolerate the excuse, but men are just built different than women. Like you guys can like endure more than women. Like bitches. no, y'all like beating us down more and no. expecting us to accept it. Exactly, that's what it is. I think like, I think that. Um, <laughs> Well, through like through the acts of um, feminism, it kind of pushed women into a place of more r- roles of leading. So because mm-hmm. of that, you kind of adopt more masculine traits through certain activity that you're that you're doing. And I think because of that, it has men taking a back seat in some areas, and it kind of shifts the dynamic of who's doing what and the masculine and feminine. Like, I guess. A man that supports his woman and, you know, even let's say a man, he, he takes the role of like, okay, well, my my woman makes a little bit more. I'm going to cook. That man is now clean feminine. But he's no, actually... That's, so, that's, 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 but that's exactly what women say. Because you at home... I don't speak for those women. I, yeah. I mean, <laughs> so I. I still don't understand what's, what makes a man... That and you get what I'm saying? No examples, man. Yeah, yeah, saying it, but what's the okay. Well, I'm, 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 not, I'm, not, I'm not necessarily a man, so I can't. Yeah. Why, but you agree that what, men are more feminine these days. You I agree think. I, no, I think. So I think. I think more men are taking a back seat in terms of the amount of dominance they have, how they how they let a woman maybe walk all over them, or how they speak up. For mm. example, I think I can't really speak to all things that um, men do because I'm not a man. Mm. But I know for I know for sure. When I was in a place of more masculinity, mm. I attracted mainly feminine because you kind of track which I was opposite to you. Mm. So, being in that uh, I was compatible with you. Yes. Okay. So, with my strong demeanor, I'm only going to attract feminine men. So, through that, I guess that's what made I guess or I'm getting my uh, idea from. So, in in my experience, um, I want to say feminine, but just like <clears throat> more so. I don't know if it's a mama's boy or what, but more so. You know, the the man that wants to take the back seat, he doesn't want to be dominant. He wants to, you know. You know what that is? Maybe because you come off masculine. I mean, do you? I mean that that could be the case. Because sometimes not, when you come have, off strong, have, they do want to take that. Because some men are okay with the women paying the bills and okay with that. I'm Once not okay you come with off that. too strong, <laughs> like, they so does okay. that, take that, that yeah. burner. Is that a requirement to say he's feminine if a, if if he allows a woman to pay the bill or pay no, no I think, bills? Or I do, no, I don't. I don't. I don't think no, so. I, but I do think there's things that a man will and won't do, mm-hmm. and he will and won't tolerate. And what you kind of tolerate, what you allow to go on, will determine that. From certain aspects, not all things like cooking and cleaning is not feminine. Men should cook and clean. There's no gender applied yeah, to that. I don't but it's just certain that. things that I can't pinpoint all because I'm not. Yo, yeah, y'all, y'all love to switch to genders when it's when it's something that benefits y'all. Like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what? We cooking and cleaning now is, is gender neutral. But when it comes to paying the bills, nope, that's a man's job. Y'all ain't y'all ain't flexible on that. But when it's cooking and cleaning, yeah, both genders could do that. If like, it has to be done, then it has what... to be done. What we gonna do? Lose the house? So yeah, I don't see what's wrong with that. I don't see what's wrong with the ladies. No, what I'm different. saying is women are real quick to f- flip the gender roles when it benefits them. So when we say yeah, everybody, according to head. society, men are supposed to pay the bills and protect and whatever the case is, right? That's really not negotiable. That's just set. But when it comes to a woman's role as far as cooking and cleaning and maintaining the household, now that for some reason that's, that's gender not, no, neutral. That's, like, that's you know what gender, I'm saying? That like, is for sure gender neutral. But however, <laughs> however, though, when it comes to paying the bills... 
Because like, pay bills, to me, most men are making more money than women. So it's like, but if that's I'm, not if, what she just said. No, 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 no. Well, 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 that's all. I, well, I can't. I don't they know those stats. Yeah. So I don't cool. know. I don't know those stats. However, it makes more sense if you think about it. If a man makes two hundred k, and let's say my, his wife makes seventy five, why am I picking up bills when you have two hundred k? Like that's but, that's, but that's sense. also like me but, saying, why am I picking up plates if I'm making two hundred k? No, that doesn't matter. If you're Why? paying all the bills, that personally, matter. then that's something you would have to pick up a plate in but my the, house. But the issue, <laughs> but the issue is, is when the when the roles is reversed and the woman making two hundred k, how man making seventy five k? If he don't pay the bills, now he's feminine. No, no, no. Well, that, well, that's different. If, if, if whoever's a bread one needs, needs to, to go up the most, he has right? to contribute. So she should have to contribute. It's a different world we are in. No, she should have to contribute. If she's making more bread, she should contribute. Even so if I, she's making less, she should be contributing in somehow, some way. Or well, asking sure. me, hey, babe, should I pay for this? Or hey, should I pay for that? We got it. We got to have wrong with that. So you're saying the time of the men. 2023. The men paying all the bills in the house is over. No, I'm saying that your, my partner is. Response. Oh, I'm. Re we're both together, and you have to at least ask me if you should be putting into something. I don't think. I don't think I have the wrong stats, with that. By the way, that you kept asking for. Mm. What is that, King? It's saying some U.S. cities women are out earning in some U.S. cities. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is New York City one of them? New yes, York, so Washington. Is. is that a dot com? I don't know what this is. This is like, what is this? Made by a feminist. It was on CNN. They did a whole interview on it that um women are making uh, more, left. so they want to. It's harder for them to date. Yeah. Left media though. I don't know if I could trust CNN too much. It says young woman. Somebody brings stats, and now you guys can't trust no, it. When I, you no. guys bring stats, you're supposed to trust it. But is that what? Oh, go ahead, bro. You got. No, I'm saying those stats. Uh, those, those might be very valid, but we do have to take in obviously ethnicity into consideration. Like, you know saying. what I'm saying? Because like, you know, Asian women, Asian women, and white women, they earn like a lot, a lot of money per annual. Like they earn a lot. Like you get what I'm saying? But black women, not necessarily. You know what I mean? Right. Like um, as a whole, as the average income, black women only av make like forty three thousand a year. That's the average salary, like for a black woman. So you know that's probably maybe that is facts. But like I said, there's other things we got to take into consideration. So. So um, anything you want to add to this? I'm sorry. <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, I'm not. I'm not really sure about that stat. Only because um, feminists still complain about the wage gap, oh, and yeah. you know why that is. That's because yeah. they're not willing to do those dangerous jobs. They do not want to do coal mining. They do not want to climb these crazy poles. They do not want none of that. They climb the poles though. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, climb yeah, the poles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not the same kind of poles. poles. <laughs> yeah. So but, um, um, I, I'll say okay. this though. I could understand. Um, what the ladies were talking about as far as men being more feminine than they ever were. Mm. And that's not something that I ever saw in my circle, and I'm pretty sure y'all don't have that in your circle. Right. Mm. It, start, it took me to start um, doing consultations and people start hitting me up in the DMs asking me for personal help. And just some of the things that I see that they do, I'm like, man. You know what I mean? But I, I could feel that because I wasn't always like what I am today, right? When I was an adolescent, I had a rough time and I had to go through a few heartbreaks for me to actually become the man that I am and really learn about female nature and like really dig in and understand what I was doing wrong. Yeah. And um, there's some people who just never had the light come on and they really don't know how to be responsible. And like she was saying earlier, when a woman is masculine, it can definitely make a man just sit back and just watch it happen. There's no woman on the planet who could make me feminine. That's out. But there are some men that just don't know what to do. And if somebody, some people just don't. It could be a mama's boy. It could be just somebody who's lazy. It could just be somebody who's not on a purpose and did just watch it happen. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's why I hold men accountable to. We got to do better. But True. women, the respect is gone for a lot of them. They don't appreciate what it is we do. They don't appreciate what we are as men. Fact. And the lack of respect from a woman, if she doesn't respect you, she cannot love you. Yeah. And if you don't respect a man, yeah. he cannot love you yeah. because that is our first requirement. True. Yes, that is 100% true. What yeah. if they, um, women love your husbands? Um, no, women respect your husbands. Men love, love your, your women. Life. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like you said about respect is a big thing. I don't, I don't think necessarily that men care that a woman is making more than them. Maybe there are some men, but I think it's the level of respect that comes with women mm -hmm. that usually make more money than a significant other. There's a, you know, you're always trying to uh, demasculize, um, demasculate him. 
Um, you always trying to belittle him. You know what I mean? So every little time you don't get your way, you're going to throw a little shot in there. Like, nigga, you on my couch, you bum ass. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's always going to be that level of respect, disrespect there. Like. And that's where I, I can see where you guys are coming from in a sense because it's like um, everybody's on this high value thing, but I, I wouldn't say high value. I would say like look for a, a man of value. Like you get what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. So it's like... Yeah, you make more than him, but there's other things that a man can bring to the table around the house that you cannot do. Like if somebody breaks, a uh, man breaks into your house, cool, you pay the bills, but that is up to that man to protect that house now. You get right. me? So it's like everybody's stuck on high value, high earning, but there is like, there's a lot of valuable men out there. Just because mm -hmm. he doesn't make that much doesn't mean, you know, you disrespect him, you belittle him because you're bringing that to the table because you could bring the financials and he could bring other masculine things that a man needs to do mm -hmm. to the table. You I, get feel, me? I feel like it's kind of asinine to choose a partner knowing who they are, or what they make. And, you know, you learn this after a while and then to belittle them. To me, that doesn't really make any sense. So, like, if you're going to choose somebody, then, you know, you decide which aspects of you know their personality or their character that you like or you know that you can work with. That's like the eighty twenty rule. You know I get this eighty percent and then the twenty percent I don't have. But I think a lot of us are not even paying attention. It's like we look at people for what we want them to be, you know, and what we question. want a situation to be as opposed to what it really is. And then that's when it comes to, oh, I want a man that makes more money. But you mm -hmm. chose a man that didn't make that amount of money. So is it you not being accountable for your own decisions and then you're <laughs> taking it out on him? So, you know, I don't agree with belittling somebody, mm -hmm. you know, just because you don't like what's going on. You mm -hmm. made a choice to, to be with that person. Right. I have a question. Do you think society and social media plays a role in women wanting high value men, like the oh, pressure that's being put on them, like <laughs> materialistic things and mm -hmm. house and like bags and shoes. And like, it's so, like, I feel like if we look at the more simple things in life and appreciated the more simple things in life, then we would respect a man that's maybe not making six figures, but he's he's still able to contribute or do something around the house and to a family. Mm -hmm. you know I mean? A lot of women looked at Oprah and the Stedman, let's use them as an example, right? She had a house. He lived in a guest house. You know what I mean? He wasn't clearly on her level. He stood there. He put up with it, right? Mm -hmm. So now women, they have men in their house that they know ain't going to bring no value to their relationship. And they feel superior. They can tell him to get out when they want. Don't come mm -hmm. back when they want. And they feel comfortable in, in, in that. You get what I'm saying? So, I mean, mm -hmm. I, I find it, you know, uh, women would like to date up or down. They rather not date a dude that's on their level sometimes because that man might be able to hold them accountable for certain things. Mm -hmm. So they don't want to hear the shit. So I'll talk to Bum Joe or I'll be able to listen to Mr. Man that's a businessman. Because mm -hmm. the same thing the average man is telling you not listening to. But if he got money, oh, he know he, he got knowledge me. now. You get what I'm saying? I just told you the same shit. I just ain't got the same bread. So I, what the fuck is up? Yeah. I, 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 I don't. I agree, but I don't agree. I agree that some women are like that, yeah. but I don't feel like that just because somebody has money that that's somebody you can listen to. That's, 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 yeah, that's, that's what I think what we have to get outside of is that, again, we have this show on a regular basis. One of the first things women always say is finances. When, especially when we talk about men, we just automatically equate finances to a man. We don't, they don't get to start listing actual valuable attributes until after they get past the height, past the, the money, Past the, oh, he got to look good. Like, you know, once they get past it, then, it, oh, well, he got to treat me good. So those are the qual qualities of how he going to treat you if he's a fam if he's family oriented, if he's God fearing. Y'all not, y'all don't even get to that if you don't pass that barometer of making 100K or more or six feet. Like, you get what I'm saying? So you got to put, we got to learn, men too, we got to put, you know, we put a lot of emphasis, men put a lot of emphasis on looks and beauty. beauty. And right. we don't take into other, other yeah. considerations. Mm -hmm. like, you know what I mean? So I agree, but like, there'll be men. Like, I'm opposite. Let me mm. say, there'll be men that will come and, like, you know, flashing what they have. Trust me, don't get me wrong. I like money. You know what I mean? I, I want to know that if I decide to be in a relationship with someone, that mm -hmm. they're financially, you know, 
uh, educated, financially stable, or whatever the case is. But a lot of times, you'll flash your money at me like, oh, I drive a Benz, or I drive a Range Rover, or I have a Beamer, and you know, I make this amount of money. And I'm still going to look right past you because you might not have the characteristics that I want mm-hmm. in a person. Mm-hmm. You might have this amount of money, but you know, you might be a polygamist. And I'm not into polygamy just for, you know, for I an mean, example. I mean, that's exactly how men feel when women just lead off with their education and how much money they make. We just but like, okay, well, you know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> don't face this. Like, you know what I'm saying? I have, a, get... I have a question. Go ahead. So, what to you all makes a man feminine? Because what I feel like as a woman, I know what makes a woman masculine. Mm. And men always say, okay, well, what makes me feminine if I'm a man? But I feel like as a man, you know what is feminine because of what you would and would not do. Yeah. So, what makes to y'all a man feminine? Not well, washing dishes, obviously. Well, real quick, I bad. did out a point I wanted to make earlier, right? Um, you know, it's, when we talk about feminine, you know, and masculine, that energy, right? It's very for men. It's very. It's like a thin. It's like a thin line because you know when we are um, leading in our feminine, I mean masculine energy. Now we hear these words like toxic masculinity and all these other like you know these words that's just nonsense, right? So then when women are saying, well, we want you know our men to be more expressive and express themselves. Now when they express themselves, now oh well he acting feminine like you. So it's like it's very hard because the things that traditionally historically have been considered masculine are now being looked at by feminists as, you know, toxic masculinity and he shouldn't act like this and, you know, he should act more like, you know, docile or whatever the case is. So it's it's a very hard line, I think, for some men because they're struggling. Some men are struggling to find that masculine, masculinity and lead in that. And then they also trying to be vulnerable at the same time because we understand how mental health is the issue for black men specifically. So, it's, you know, it's mm-hmm. it's, it's a tough, um, like, line to kind of cross. I think it's up to the woman that the man is with to um, basically ha- give that emotional support to him. Like, you know, you don't want your man to feel like, because because men have a hard, like, we all have hard days, but like, you guys do have a lot. And you guys also have to worry about, like, you know, the whole cop thing getting pulled over. You guys just have a lot on your head. So I just feel like it's up to the woman to um, give him like emotional stability mm-hmm. to feel comfortable. Like to be vulnerable because right. that is it is a good thing and it mental health is huge. You right. get me? So it's like a lot, men are actually committing suicide more right. now. You get me? So it just depends on the woman that you're with. Mm-hmm. So I mean, you you've done a lot of coaching and stuff yeah, like that. What, do you think? what are some qualities that you see from like men that you would consider more feminine? Um, it's more it's it's like an energy thing, right? Um, some men just don't know how to take charge of situations, right? They allow mm-hmm. women to lead. And it should be you as a man, that should just be your default, right? You're supposed to be the protector. This is still here. Even though um, females' roles have changed, ours haven't. We still have to provide. We still have to protect. We still have to problem solve, mm-hmm. right? And yeah, anytime one of those situations come up where you need to do that, that should be your purpose. When you feel like you could just relax and allow a female to do it, then you're going to be feminine. If a woman can't feel secure with you, She's going to feel like you're feminine. Mm -hmm. Females are mostly concerned about security, whether it be financial security, emotional security. And if you could whoop somebody ass, Mm -hmm. they want you to know, they want to know that you can make sure they feel secure. And if you can't provide that type of security and all those that that I just mentioned, then yeah, you're feminine. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. See, that's what I was trying to say earlier. But what 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 I more so meant was, I think because there is so much masculine women or because there is more masculine women than there was before, I feel like more men take a back seat or they just kind of roll it. Of course, like you said earlier, not a, a, a true masculine man cannot ever become feminine. Like, you know, he's just That's completely so going to just dis- disregard or repel the energy. However, um, I feel like online or what you see, you kind of see more men kind of, kind of going, okay, well, that's how you want to be. I'm going to be this way. And they kind of accommodate and pull themselves back even further. But, and that's what it call, that's what it calls this issue of more men becoming feminine and women being more masculine. But why are we embracing women being more masculine? Like, I feel like it's comfortable to say women being more masculine. So men just got to work around that. Like, I, that's what I... That's how I'm feeling hearing that. Mm-hmm. You know oh, no, no, what I'm saying? I think... I, I, I think... No, I, I disagree with that. I just... I think that's... Through like the feminist acts thing that women have asked for, it has pushed, or I think, how do you say, women asking for certain things comes with certain qualities or certain tasks that need to be done that women don't necessarily know they're asking for it. So because I'm asking for certain things, now I have to become more in a masculine role. And that's kind of how it's happening. But I don't think 
uh, it's a good thing that yeah, because I think mas- we to, like again, I'm tired of having this conversation because women keep trying to defend why men should you know accept their masculine behavior or work around it instead of us telling women to be just embrace our femininity more. Mm-hmm. Like y'all, no, y'all I mean, would should. rather tell men how to embrace y'all being masculine instead of y'all just being like, you know what? I could work on being more feminine. Like, you get what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. instead of us having those conversations about femininity, mm-hmm. we get caught up in, well, you know, if you know you know, women are masculine, y'all need to be like more mm-hmm. masculine. No, or something. Yeah. <laughs> they should embrace their femininity, for sure. For what real, about for women should... Imbra- oh, sorry. Go ahead. I've been talking All right. a lot. Now, I'm just going to say real quick, the most miserable women that I ever witnessed are the women who are masculine. The most mm-hmm. happy, joyful, peaceful like just a pleasant person to be around are the females who are allowed and choose to rest in their feminine energy. Mm. That's true. Yeah, that that's true. the divine I, feeling. I feel yeah. like if I can't rest in my feminine, once again, I feel like every woman has masculine energy. I feel like every man has feminine energy. Just depends on, you know, if, if you're exercising it at a high level or, you know, so at like, a like low level. Like a yin and yang kind of thing. Yeah. If, if I can't exercise my feminine energy with you, then I don't want to be with you. Like, I, you know, like I she said, you know, maybe you have masculine energy. You know, maybe that's just, you know, a guard up. Or but maybe I, that's a defense I, I'm a t- mechanism. I'm going to tell if, you as a man, if that's what you're leading in, I don't want to have a conversation with you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I, it's not going to yeah. go any further. So no. I'm not going to try to find your femininity. Oh, yeah. That yeah. shit should be I, presented I, to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. It should. It should. It should. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. If a man presents his feminine energy to you, then you're going to be turned off right away. Exactly. You, can't, right. you can't tell... A woman like, oh yeah, well, I just need the right one to unlock it. If I'm out here switching, carrying a man bag <laughs> right. and, doing, and right. acting like a little girl, getting All manicures right. with you, you, I can't tell you that, oh, I need the right woman to unlock my feminine energy. That won't ever work. So I, you have That's to understand right. the man's perspective too. We don't want to see it. We don't want to witness it. We don't want no parts of masculine energy. We don't well, want to have to unlock it. There's those times in the house where it will come out. It will come out. But like, what do you mean? If I'm so, So your man in the house... Oh yeah, it's gonna come out. It's gonna no, come like, out. That's, that's cool. Gonna, no, I'm not talking about towards him. Uh-huh. But like, okay, so at my boyfriend's house, the lock was not working, and for months we were just pushing it and like slamming it, or whatever. And one day I just got frustrated, and I took a screwdriver, and I'm like, maybe it just has to be like pulled up, tightened, and I tightened it and I fixed the lock. Mm-hmm. Make, sometimes you have to just do those things. That's, oh, is that that's, 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 that's not masculine energy. Oh, if you can okay. solve a problem, I'm okay with that. He should have been able to do that <laughs> yeah, real quick. Yeah, yeah. But if you no, end up, he was if you able end up doing to do it, but it was just like nobody cool. really cared. You, you took for initiative. It. That's not yeah. masculine energy. Masculine that's energy is what you convey towards me. I'm not trying to hear. Yeah. When you start raising up on me or you talk to me a certain way and you start to lose the respect, mm-hmm. that's when it's more of a problem. But if you decide, hey, look, I'm gonna just go ahead and fix this. If you mm-hmm. got a skill that I may not have, have it is what yeah. it is. And I could so I, I can accept that. Fix the lot. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and the women just I just we just women have to really understand how valuable feminine energy is and how valuable femininity is. That's that's okay. literally what attracts men to women. Like we could sense that energy. Like I have conversations with women and I could tell off the conversation alone, like whether she's leading in her feminine energy or her masculine energy. It's, it's very clear for men to differentiate that. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. um let me get to this next topic, right? Um because we was on that one for a minute, like, but yeah, it was a it was, it was a, a I think it was a good yeah. conversation. Like yeah. um you had a I know you wanted to talk about you talking about men's standards, right? And you said that men didn't have standards, or do men have standards outside of the ones that Kevin Samuel set? Mm-hmm. Um, can you elaborate on that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's the next subject. No, because I just want to like be for real. Anytime you ask a man now, or any podcast a man has, and they say the requirements, they're literally listing the same ones that Kevin Samuel's had, and it's just like, rest all in right, peace. like yeah, rest in peace to that guy, but like for real. There's no other requirements that you guys... What do you guys say? Fit, feminine, yeah. cooperative. Cooperative. Yeah. Fit, feminine, and friendly. Like, yeah. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm telling you, before he said it, that's what men always wanted. He just yeah. had that's a loud voice. <laughs> yeah, he coined the phrase, but yeah. he didn't make it up. I've, I've heard <laughs> men say, like, you know, like, but different you know requirements what it is? other than Kevin Samuels. Uh-huh. That's not piggybacking up for Kevin Samuels. Mm. Then it's like, now, when I listen to podcasts or, like, when... You ask like men that you know is like I'm one, and I'm gonna say the man is fair. I feel like Kevin Samuel just set like that standard for them, and that's that's just where they stuck at. When it's like, like really, t- and then it's like they get those things, and the women is still not satisfying them because I just feel like it's not what you want. I just feel like you're saying that because it was handed to you in a handbook. You get me? 
I think that's you know, what I'm you know how you know how women got their non compromisable. That's what we were not willing to compromise on. Like you trying to be we want a woman that's feminine. We would prefer a woman that's fit. No, I mean friendly is what's not, fit to y'all. I mean everybody got not different. obese. <laughs> yeah, not obese. Yeah. Everybody not got obese. That's all. I mean the BMI we, of twenty five or below. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but they're all obese married women. That's what I'm saying. Everybody, everybody got different. That's why I'm trying to think But different again, how many? We, I think when 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 Kevin Samuels make the when he says feminine fit and friendly, right? He's talking about what men genuinely want across all ethnic groups, right? Mm-hmm. Not even not just black men. This this is making yourself more available to all ethnic groups. That's just the borderline right there. You get what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. unfortunately, when we say those things, then we have women on the other end. Well, what about Lizzo? Like, you y'all always want to make the exception to the rule. And like, genuinely, men don't like big women. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all keep saying y'all thick. And like, you know, the average weight for a black woman is like, what? 175, 180? Yeah. That's crazy. Like, that's what men weigh. Like, you get what I'm saying? And not even men reaching out those. You get what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. as you know, and we could talk about obesity just in, amongst black women. Like, you know what I mean? That's a, they lead the league in obesity. Like, you know what I mean? That, and that contributes to heart disease, cardiovascular disease, a lot of health issues. And, you know, in our society, we, we keep trying to not hold those women accountable and keep saying, well, she, she, she loves, you know, she loves herself and yeah, stuff like that. But these are real health issues that really affect and that's killing black women. That's yeah. a really a thing. So, um, you know, to go back to your thing, um, I, I get what you're saying because it sounds like everybody just piggybacking off of what Kevin mm-hmm. Samuels said. But, you know, the thing about Kevin Samuels and about these podcasts is that men are finally in positions to have these conversations about, mm-hmm. you know, what it what what it is that they require in a woman. Like, you know, before we we probably did accept the bare minimum. She just probably had to have a fat ass, you know, nice titties, whatever mm-hmm. the case is. Mm-hmm. And, you know, now men are realizing their value, I think. And now we're saying, hey, you know what? This is what we require in women. And women are like, damn, y'all ain't never had standards before. Like, where the fuck all these standards came from now? Like, you get what I'm saying? So it was it's happy like, wife, happy life. Yeah, like, you know, so... I feel, I feel like it doesn't really surprise me that that is what men want. I feel like across the board, men are simple. You guys are simple creatures. Mm-hmm. So being, so it's not... And y'all also are more so more so logical. So it's not really mm-hmm. a surprise that across the board, these are the, let's say, three or four main things that you look for. Because mm-hmm. it's going to be just, the, just that. So... My only thing is, uh, like, I, I meet a lot of guys that, you know, you want your woman to know how to make, like, collard greens and baked macaroni and cheese and, you know, all this other stuff. Mm-hmm. And then you want you want her to be well-versed in that mm-hmm. and then fit at the same time. Don't get me wrong. I could do both. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, you know, it's... Don't I, 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 no, I know, but it's just saying, though. I'm, 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 I'm not talking about being fit. able like, to cook. I say, I say. I'm not talking about being able to cook because, like I said, I could do both. <laughs> Personally, I, I eat Healthy. I eat healthily. Mm-hmm. And I and I know how to make macaroni and cheese, collard greens, <laughs> fried chicken, and all of that. Mm-hmm. But what I'm saying some. is a lot of a lot, I'm talking about culture. So a lot of women who grew are up eating that, I get what you're saying. Grew up eating that, mm-hmm. well versed in, in those things, mm-hmm. they don't have healthy lifestyles. Mm-hmm. So it's well, like I don't know, because we're Jamaican that's a choice. and we drink we eat like a lot, but we're like we're like we call it big bone. Like you, I get what you're trying to say. That it's I still, get. it's ultimately still a choice. It is. You can make that food, and you can make a portion. Now, yeah. when you it's go on there for second and thirds, that's when you pass the <laughs> calorie deficit. All right, yeah. so like we can sit here and make excuses. Like, damn, that shit was just so good. I just got fat off of it. I like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you excuses. No, I just kind of say. I mean, you know, you go to the gym. Yeah, hey, this, this is what I would say. Now, the one thing that I that I noticed from like the last couple of comments is that. Um, you know, you said you can do both, right? And it's not a problem for you, but you argued that point. Um, earlier, you said that, you know, people are complaining about being, you know, you want somebody who's fit and friendly. Enough. Which one of those aren't you? But friendly. So you're not friendly? Okay. Because so women, women, I'm women, friendly, I'm late. Well, okay, good. <laughs> the reason why I said it is because women often argue part points that don't that even do apply to them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's do it. Like, yeah. y'all are going to set. Y'all, 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 y'all are doing your thing. Strong. So you, you realize, you realize what it is you're supposed to be doing and you are doing it. You're adhering to it, but you're arguing you a point for arguing, what? Yeah. What, are you, what are y'all arguing about it for? And y'all know that's what y'all are supposed to do. And you're point. doing it. Uh-huh. That's the point of the show. 
No, no, no. <laughs> it's not. It's not. No, but what I've experienced is because <laughs> you're a lady. I won't, I won't, right, you gotta speak I won't like come out and say I know how to make collard greens and ribs. I don't even eat ribs, but macaroni cheese and all this other stuff. But if you see me cooking and you ask me what I'm cooking, and I'm like, yeah, I just made some grilled salmon and some steamed broccoli, and mm. then, you know, looking like you know, well, she doesn't eat. Uh, I mean, a real man gonna be happy whatever his <laughs> lady makes. You know what I'm saying? I know, bro, you throw uh, some garlic um powder in the broccoli. I, I, I hear y'all saying this girl power stuff. I think women need to hold more women accountable. That's I think true. you should sit here and say, yo, I agree why men are more attracted to slim and fit mm-hmm. and women that can cook. I, yep. y'all under- it's men hard holding women accountable because they want to fight. Huh? Really? The girlies be wanting to fight when you hold them accountable. Then, well, 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 look, it you know it what's not making it any better? You defending their stupidity. So you saying you're scared? Scared. I'm saying shit. Right, she ain't trying to test them. Please let them know. You don't have to I defend them, but yeah, you don't yeah, have yeah. to agree with them at the same time. But by, by y'all saying what y'all saying, this argument or the debate part of supporting women that feel that way, that's not even here, mm-hmm. is a problem because they like, oh shit, she got my back. Exactly. I'm going to sit here. I'm going to be big and, mm-hmm. and not cooking and da da da. Because I got girls on a pod. Damn, the daily wrap up crew took them out. Let me be big and not cook. <laughs> <laughs> she not even big. She's like, who am I to tell somebody, like, who am I to like lower somebody's confidence? Like, do you, no, if you, it's, if it's you no, can't get a man because confidence. of that, then that's on you. Yeah. I don't got no Well, I feel, but, like, I feel like in general, though, yeah. like, no, go ahead. She, I was going to say thought. No, go ahead. You got it. How? Why is that lowering her confidence? Yeah. You know what I mean, you're, you're making her a what better person say, by holding hey, her confidence. Um, the truth, men love <laughs> <all laughs> the truth. Feminine women. The truth. No, what I was gonna say and was, I, I think like for you should just lose weight. But how can they do no, that? We got, that? We got a society oh, that's hey, encouraging to women to be bigger and obese, like. Nobody's encouraging women to lose weight. Y'all encourage them to make You don't need to change for that man. Yeah. So like, he need to change what, for you. What's happening is you prefer <laughs> <further laughs> that. <laughs> you're you're no, know. but I think for the most part, you should have, out of all the things that you want, you should bring some of those things as well. So like me, I would want someone that's fit and I know that I'm fit. I work mm-hmm. out. So I would want that as well. Okay. Same way if it's yeah. money. I know I'm going to make, I'm going to have motion. So you got to have motion. Right. So it's the same exact thing. I think for the most part, yeah, I don't, I I don't uh, agree with, yeah, just... One yeah. sided. Well, mm-hmm. all I'm gonna say is men, men go hold, hold other men accountable. You know what I mean? If you see somebody yeah, walking down the street, he not doing his supposed to be you about my ass, nigga. They go, they go, yeah. they go yeah. hold them accountable. Yeah, we do. It. And that's why mm-hmm. men are trying to improve themselves so they don't have to have them conversations with other men. So women need to do that so women can do, do the really same thing. Do you think men are trying to improve themselves, or do you think men are sitting around complaining? Complaining? Complaining. I think men are really sitting around complaining now. I think we have a standard well, that we are you not about, You talking about men on podcast? What are you talking about? You no, should... I'm just oh, talking about right. men. Right. 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 <laughs> women, women, <laughs> women hate that men have podcasts because they find no, it. They get to listen to what men have yeah. been struggling with for years and now they got to hold themselves the accountable. It's not the podcast. It's literally like if you look on things sometimes and you read the comments... It's like men complaining, and they even come for the men on the podcast. But it's like when you really get to Everybody, know them, they really sitting too. in a garage or for like bum ass Wi Fi complaining about women. But it's like, mm. why are you not building yourself up so you don't have to complain about women so you can open up the options for you? No, they only the internet literally complaining. He probably ain't got no friends of you know what I mean that's doing nothing with their lives to hold them accountable. But you talking about the internet, man? That's the same. Yeah. The same. There's women on the internet always complain. Women have been complaining about men for but decades. But why do you guys yeah. have to that? match well, women's actually, energy? Yeah. Build yourself all, up, and you will not have to be in a position to match Jimmy women's Jones, energy. Rico Lake, Jerry <laughs> Springer, all these shows where women okay. been going. Okay, all at you men, all you guys say you're masculine, right? I am. Why is it? Yeah. Try, why are you guys trying to match women's energy? Why not? not? No, 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 But it's always Holding like it's always like women, women, women. If you just build yourself up to a certain point, you won't even have to complain about I, women I, I, I at also all. You feel can, you can get that a, women as a black man to inform black women that it's not attractive for them to be the way they are sometimes. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I so, always and said that you guys do. I said that you guys do it I got, respectfully. I got, I got sisters. You guys do do it. I got, I got about 12 sisters. Mm-hmm. I got like a whole bunch of female cousins. I, I know I, ha- I have a lot of female friends. It's my job. I have a daughter. I have a lady at home. It's my job to have the black women that I know and I see and I can reach yeah. to let them know this shit ain't cute, y'all. Y'all need to yeah. switch this up. Percy, and the same I thing I would have the same energy for a dude as well. I was saying, I have no issue with men voicing what they do and what they want and don't yeah. want. I think that's yeah. what y'all should. That's what I yeah. want to see, actually. See, we finally yeah. have a chance to. Women had daytime talk TV all day, and mm-hmm. it's only because women are 
80% of the consumer base. They spend mm. all the money. Men yeah. make all that money, but women spend the money. <laughs> so the advertisers, it behooves them to make woman-friendly content. Mm -hmm. But now we're on a different level now. Now the internet came up, people could watch a podcast from their mobile phone. It's different. And then after 2020, it's over. Now everybody has been introduced to this. Whoever didn't know, now they know. Men have always felt like this. We just had no outlet to express it. Mm -hmm. All we had, all we was, we were so used to lying to women because we wanted to get the pussy. We know we told the truth. We wasn't gonna get the pussy. Like, you know I have saying? a question like, for him specifically, but all you guys can answer. Do you think that men now are using? I have to ask the word, um, the term alpha loosely. Do you think every man thinks they're alpha? Every every man would like to be an alpha. Thank right you. and see here's the mm -hmm. problem most people don't even understand the sociosexual hierarchy yeah they don't. it starts there's with like alpha four then there's segments. beta yeah, there's... then there's delta then you have gamma then, the then you have the omega and nobody ever wants to categorize i never heard anybody say i'm an omega or i'm oh, a gamma I'm a most yeah, of us I'm most of most everybody of the world jumps straight to alpha <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Most of the, straight to an alpha and it's like yeah. how? most of the world is comprised of deltas that's the working person most of us aren't even alphas or betas as much as we say Say, oh, this guy's a beta. He's not even a beta. Mm -hmm. It's probably an omega that oh, you're omega referring that's to. Right on, yeah, mm -hmm. it's like yeah, the dominance hierarchy. I think thing. it goes back like, to nobody just... wanting to be um considered average. You know what I mean, that's yeah, basically exactly. It. Like, everybody <laughs> hate that. Like, oh, I'm I'm not average. What do you mean? So it's the same thing. So everybody want to be that that top tier person. You know? But what do you guys consider an alpha male? Leader, confident, yeah. assertive. Um. Like you said, confident, mm -hmm. um, leadership skills, somebody who demands respect from his from you know his peers. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think all of those combined make for usually a traditional alpha type of yeah. uh, male. That's what I feel like too, and I just I, I also think like a alpha male never really has to say they're alpha, but you could tell through their outcomes and what they show and like how they deal with a situation with the hand they're dealt. Yeah. That re it really speaks volume. You don't really you don't really hear alpha males running around saying I'm an alpha. You yeah, get me? Yeah, for sure. yeah. But the so, crazy part is we don't like you know we never use that term. Like you get what I'm saying? Like, it you know, did. It was based on animals. animals. You know, like, I hear that word more from women. Honestly, we just had alpha a whole woman. episode about alpha women. I'm an alpha. Like I hear the term alpha more from women than mm -hmm. I do from men nowadays. Yeah. Like you get what I'm saying? So it's, again, it goes back to women wanting to present that they're masculine or they have to be masculine. I'm an alpha woman. Like, like that, that to me is like crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? But uh, mm -hmm. just to go back to, you know, the whole topic about the manosphere, because I hear women say, do men use the manosphere to bash women? And there are some men that do use that. Right. To, you know what I mean? Um, there are, there's podcasts, you know, we like to focus on the black community or black men specifically. There's white men out here with way bigger platforms doing yeah. dating podcasts, having these same conversations. They're first, they're just as frustrated with their women as we are with our women. Like we got different issues, but they're still having these same conversations, but nobody is saying nothing to the white men or the non-black men. Mm, but, but they're the having these conversations about men, like they're not really sitting around going as... Crazy as the black man, like for example, they are. my See, boyfriend, you're, you're like not, he mentors not, but people, right? But listen, my boyfriend informed. mentors, he watches all of these things. My boyfriend, he mentors people, right? So there was a guy that left a comment, he was going off, oh, these bum ass bitches, he can't find a woman, blah, blah, blah. When he mentored the guy, the guy was making $10 an hour, about to get kicked out of his apartment. So my boyfriend asked him, like, why are you looking for women? Why are you on the internet complaining right. about women when you need to be building yourself up? So can you just imagine how many of those men are sitting around complaining about yeah, women? just like there's a lot of women like you complaining about the men that y'all don't give a- Me? I don't gotta listen, complain about is, those damn men? Are you kidding is, me? If, you, if women don't give a fuck about these men that they complain about, why do y'all care what they say on the internet? No, I'm just saying- like, Because he hour, you said you you're, say you're here, but you're saying you're here for the community, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm saying like, okay, the- there's men like that complaining, so it's like, what are some solutions for them? What is, I just, you guys like, and you that's have why this... they have consultations or coaching to ha to have those men put them in a place. But I think the women that's sitting there and complaining about why men are frustrated, why do y'all even care? They're not even on y'all radar. Like you get what I'm saying? Who's like, complaining have about no men being frustrated? You shouldn't. You, it you, up. you bring you, it up. You argue yeah. somebody else's point, like you said, but that's not true. <laughs> the only reason you here today is because you're frustrated with me. You got, you got, you got friends. You got friends like that. That's. That, that, I, that friends, know that? I am speaking. Who are you speaking for? For women. Which ones? Yeah, she got oh, yeah, watch that. <laughs> Which ones? No. Which I'm one? just saying, if you're saying we speak for the black community, but I'm like, listen, like you saying that 
there's um other races that have those podcasts. They are with way larger, yeah, with way you, larger subscriber bases than black men. And I can I can list like mm-hmm. five to but ten look right at now. The black men that is sitting behind that computer. There's white men doing the same thing. Shit, there's white men acting like they black behind the computer. <laughs> 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 so when so Oprah and Ricky Lake was on TV and these women that was sitting at home fat, and ugly, like, well, well, yeah. Yeah. I hate these mom ass niggas. <laughs> Who's speaking about them then? We can always go with that. There. But, that, but that's the there. issue. Because black women are not used to black men expressing themselves, like, now it's, it's becoming an issue. It's like, yo, I y'all, y'all, yo, I need black men, I need y'all to be quiet because y'all airing us out to everybody and y'all letting mm-hmm. us know. And, and black women are volunteering to come on these podcasts and expose themselves. Yo, y'all need y'all to shut up. Like, you know what I mean? Y'all, y'all saying too much. And that's how it's coming off. Instead mm-hmm. of y'all listening to black men and being like, you know what? I can understand your frustrations. Like, mm-hmm. there are some black women that behave in this manner. Y'all rather stick to the sister code or tell black <laughs> men they need to shut up. And I don't think that's, I don't right. think I, that's, think, I think y'all should tell black men what y'all want from them in, and, instead. And you're not even talking about the podcast and stuff. You're talking about the guys in the comments. Like, like talking about, talking about what we're talking about. Like, this whole thing, I'm just saying. Just ignore the internet. The internet is something different. They done. It is different. That's all. A, a woman just said I was gay and all this oh, other yeah. crazy shit. Again, just <laughs> women can criticize black men and nobody bats mm-hmm. an eye. But the minute a man says, yo, fuck these bitches, yo, y'all need to shut up. Women are like, very it's disrespectful crazy, bro. online it's as well. Crazy. I mean, not not even, my, I'm a respectful man. I ain't never fuck these woman bitches, man. It could be something as simple as, oh, y'all, y'all need to be more fit. Like, that's a problem. That's like, a problem. Is, true, is your mama like, fit? Women do not take accountability. I can agree to that. I can't oppose to that conversation. I'm just defending women. Stop doing that. <laughs> Stop doing that. Like, it doesn't She's a girl's girl. It's perpetuating the issue. Further yeah. perpetuating the issue. Or, yeah. So you, you gonna get a high five when you get home and shit? Like, oh, you did that, girl. Like, <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. Listen, man, I, I just think that leave, these com- these conversations are going to be tough, especially with this, these new platforms. <laughs> like, you're going. there's going to be the gender war is going to happen for a couple of years. We both have to, we're both frustrated. You get what I'm saying? Mm. So we're both going to air out our grievances and we're just, we're going to have to listen to each other and then at some point, we're, after we listen to each other, we're going to have to come to a compromise exactly. and a solution. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But we can't sit there and try to silence black men's voices because y'all, y'all don't agree with it or y'all feel like, hey, it might be bashing or whatever the case is. Yo, and I, and I agree that black men shouldn't just be blatantly disrespecting black women. Mm-hmm. But if there's certain things that we saying like, Yo, we want more feminine women. Mm-hmm. Y'all shouldn't be like, yo, y'all need to be quiet or whatever the case is. Listen, <laughs> y'all need to toughen like, up. Yeah, right? like, you know what I'm saying? Like, who was really saying that? Who what? said what? <laughs> you don't watch this show. Yeah, yeah. you clearly don't watch this show. Like, I'm always talking about who I said that. Hey, bro, who was saying that? Come on, bro. And it's, and then. It's like, all right, when y'all was holding us accountable, we weren't like turning around and saying, oh, y'all need to shut up. We was improving ourselves. They were saying, yo, there's dead beats all over. Black fathers are in the holes more than ever now. You know what I mean? So when men are saying things, women need to listen and hold themselves accountable too. You can't just be arguing just to argue. You know what I mean? Constructive criticism is a thing. Like That's true. Unless you are the man that he mentioned. That just sits back. <laughs> <laughs> if he's telling you you need to be fit, then you could tell him shut up. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> like, much, yeah. Still don't. That's oh, still don't. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, let me get to this next topic. Um, this might be the last topic. It says, do you mm. think um sex becomes a weapon in a relationship? Mm. <sighs> no. No? No. Wait, like people, uh-huh. no. Said, people no. use sex as a weapon in a relationship. Oh, he got me so mad, so I'm not giving him no, you know. Mm-hmm. Or you know, she's pissing me off, so I'm not giving her no. But nobody really, really. Whoa, 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 whoa. A, man, that, a man ain't never say that. <laughs> you never know what man. How do you know that? Who you speaking for now? Because I don't know who you speaking for. Ain't nobody ever said that. So, she ain't gonna tonight. Like a guy, a guy will come home from cheating and still try to have sex with his. Ooh. Woman, you like, I, like you. Like, <laughs> I, I ain't gonna hold you. I was, I was fucking with you until. Why is the always the example? The only example, the only is example cheating, of a man is cheating. Like we gotta <laughs> stop doing that shit. Cheating. It could be other reasons. There's other not, reasons guys don't want to have sex, but I'm just saying I'm I'm using you could, that you could as get an me example. Wrong and don't want to apologize, and mm-hmm. I can say, yo, we not fucking until you apologize. That's a reason mm-hmm. why men don't want to have but sex. But why use well, sex as a weapon? It's a stress relief. Why using as a weapon? I don't think I would say it that. It releases hormones to make you feel. Good. I don't think people. I don't know if people. People maybe people people may use it as a weapon. However, I don't women. think they do. I don't use or it women as a want to say, but. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's more so that if someone doesn't need to piss you off, I may not be sexually around yeah, right now right. with you. So we're not going to have sex That's if I'm mad sad. as fuck at right now. Yeah. Don't touch me. 
That is I'm a fact. like I'm not horny. If, I, I, if, if I'm too upset, why would I tell? That's it. Yeah, why don't you just like you, if I were not sexually aroused? But that's off. where the communication comes in, and then the sex comes. But I just, just completely take it away from your partner is crazy. Why? So why men are in sexless marriages? That part. So why men are in sexless marriages? So I, speak for those I, I want to know if the man is in a sex, sexless marriage, is a woman in a sexless marriage too? Because how do <laughs> no, because women are the highest like, cheaters now. Right, like, how, here we go. They, they how was your marriage? Like that. We just had a porn star in here. He told us he was fucking eighty percent of married women. You're not supposed Oof. to withhold sex from your significant You're not. other. Yeah. They brush right over that. They're like, yeah. 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 No, but again, yeah. like, you know, I think sometimes, you know, sex does yeah. become a weapon in a relationship, but specifically with women, because mm-hmm. sometimes maybe that's all women have to offer mm-hmm. in a relationship is sex. That's so my leverage. Like, that's their leverage. That's like, you know, I'm not saying all women. I'm saying some women. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think that they do use that as a, you know, a form of balance in the equation. Like, you know what I mean? So like, like taking it away? Yeah, taking yeah. it away. Do or you still think, Do you think that sex can be used like, all right, say there's an issue in a relationship and instead of working through that issue now I'm just going to throw sex at you because I don't even want to commu- I don't want to talk about it do you think that too there's a, sec- a weapon in that way yeah, yeah. That, that's, yeah. yeah. That that's manipulation no one to apologize yeah. and sometimes the, the pussy be apology like yeah. Yeah. I mean yeah a lot of times the pussy be yeah. the apology <laughs> yeah. unfortunately like you know what I'm saying and so, the gift you know what I mean and the gift like you know, Valentine's Day birthday gift like you know what I'm saying like, and they finally cooked today without using a microwave my lady, she, she, she used that stove. Well, I use that stove, but you know what I'm saying? I, I've seen I it happen. I use that stove, like oil pop up on my hand type of thing. Like, yeah. I don't, like, you, you gotta, and I don't care how mad I am, I'm gonna feed him. No, yeah, that's that's, that's for just real, in though. me. That's in my culture. Like, I'm gonna really feed you care. regardless. You better feed, feed him pussy too. Don't hold yeah, that back either. Same. You know what I'm saying? Fact, you want to eat both. I think if, if somebody turns you off, then why would you be having sex with them? I don't understand. Is that, that not so, still your man? Yeah. So, but if you're turned off, if someone, if someone has to do things, women get aroused by, if by if men you're, doing. You're not if your man mad at you and you and you like, oh, can I? And he say no. How he would said, you feel? You say what? I don't if, feel if, some type of. If way. your man is mad at you. And you asking him for something, and he's like, "No, you made me mad." How does that make you feel? Right? He's feminine now, right? I have to respect. <laughs> he, said, <laughs> he, said, he said, "No." It's so it's no, 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 no. <laughs> he said, "No," and you. I mean, with that? no. Granted, I can feel how I want to feel about it, but and it's his body. I cannot come and rape him. So did, it's his body. So I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, feel about body, but end of the day, that's what I gotta eat. Uh huh. I made him mad. Okay, maybe not today. Maybe tomorrow. Oh. Mm-hmm. What I was trying to say. I don't see how. I don't see why. Why? Why would a woman be having sex with somebody if she doesn't really want to do that at the moment? But guys do. Guys I don't do. understand. I don't understand. Women do too. Mm-hmm. Women have sex with their man and they, they like they don't want to have sex at this moment. They're no, 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 no. I'm not it. saying that. I'm saying if someone did something to That's get you true. upset. If I'm upset, mm-hmm. I get what you're saying. If you're if yeah, only if you're upset. If you're, not, if you're not in the mood and you say, oh, yeah. I, 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 yeah, but I'm sometimes they don't, women don't even be upset. They just don't give the they just for whatever reason mm-hmm. don't want to what give the pussy like. But is that but is that them weaponizing it? Yeah, yeah, it is. Because they, they're they taking away a need or a desire that they know that the significant other wants and mm-hmm. they purposely are being selfish and not providing that, that need for him. Mm-hmm. And they get mad if he go outside and get it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, that's where the no, dick discipline yeah. come in. What, so I'm on, I'm on dick punishment because you ain't got pussy. <laughs> well, not dick punishment. <laughs> it's but, not dick punishment. punishment. <laughs> but it's like, yeah, pussy. you know, being accountable for whatever's going on within your relationship. Like, look, In this relationship... Mean? We didn't have sex this week. That doesn't mean you have the opportunity to go outside. No, nah, I, I agree with that 100%. Yeah. This week? The whole week, the though? The week this is week crazy. I, listen, it's not me. I, okay. I think, I think <laughs> I, I'm just giving an example. <laughs> I think the difference between if someone turns you off and you don't have sex with them versus whether you're, you're just not in the mood and you try to do it anyway. I think yeah, that's two separate things. Yeah, I don't know. That is it may not be, but separate. I think it's If someone gets me upset, then I don't want to sex you, then I'm not going to do that. Mm-hmm. Right. However, if I'm if I if we're cool and I'm not in the mood, but you say you want you're it, in the mood, then okay, then maybe it, yeah. cool. Why not? It doesn't really matter. If I'm not I'm, I'm not mad at you, but mm-hmm. also I don't say why someone says a weapon. You know what? I feel like there's a lack of understanding because men will come home and be tired as hell, mm-hmm. right? If they know they female want it, they really might legitly not want it. It's not just the fact that men are just natural. Horny horn dogs yeah, yeah, with, yeah, yeah. with an insatiable thirst. Like it's not that. We would like literally do it because we have the empathy. We can see, you know what? This would be bad if I didn't do it. Because I know I'll be mad as hell if if um, I didn't get it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I'm gonna it's gonna be some put your you know, all, they, all they know how her reaction is gonna be if you don't do it. You know what that's I mean? The, yeah, that's the saying. point, sorry guys, that I was trying to make. That men will be quicker to 
have sex with with their partner even though they don't want to. Yeah, because we understand. Before a woman would. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we understand we want to satisfy. She still has needs. She's still my significant. I don't want her to go outside of me. Exactly. So yeah, you know what? I will, you know, I'll, I'll give her, I'll pleasure her this time or whatever. So why is that not a mutual <laughs> understanding? Even if you're like super upset with her. Doesn't matter. Bro. Okay. It's your duty. Men understand duty. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> I have no objections. That's the discipline. <laughs> <laughs> no objection. L- listen, man, we got to get up out of here. But again, I appreciate y'all for pulling up. Again, let them know where they can follow you at. Hey, I'm Chatoya, guys. So you can follow me on Instagram at speak s dot p dot e dot e dot k underscore. Damn, that's- it always sound like that. It always sound like that. David, oh, you, can just, you can put my name, Shatoya. Am I? Quick letter, quick letter, ah, quick letter, quick letter. Like, you know what, I'm like, what about you? Uh, my name's Shanae. You could just search up Nay's wardrobe. My name is Sasha. Call me Elise. It'll be, you know, right here. She did the little, like, you know, just. Here we go. Now you have to put it there. Right. Yeah, like, literally, like, right under my hand. Oh, my. You heard that, editor, right there. <laughs> <laughs> Trev Smooth on all platforms, T R E V underscore S M O O V E. And again, um, if y'all enjoyed the show, make sure you hit that like button. If y'all didn't enjoy the show, make sure you hit that like button. Like, <laughs> yes. okay. mm-hmm. Subscribe if y'all not already subscribed and make sure to be joining YouTube membership, man. We got a lot of exclu- uh, exclusive access, early episodes, um, exclusive episodes, behind the foot. Listen, man, you got Keem taking his veneers out. You know what I mean? Like, you got a lot of things <laughs> over there. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so appreciate y'all. Or cut the merch, man. I don't know what oh, these yeah. I don't know what yeah, these guys doing right now, but I'm out here. Daily Rap Crew.